William knows that I was actually here in around 1921 when my father took me to visit the battlefields and all the awful things that had happened after the First World War. And the Germans were suffering from this terrible devaluation of the mark. The mark dropped, as far as I can remember, from one million marks to a dollar to two million marks to a dollar. And when we ate lunch and dinner in the restaurant, Whatever we left on the plate, no matter how small it was, the waiters immediately grabbed it and put it in their pocket. This impressed this little boy that I was at that time very much. I never thought that I'd see anything of that sort as a child. It was one of the many things that had been in the undercurrent of my life all my life. I mean, I, the memory of these horrors that, that existed as a result of these civilized countries making, making try, trying to live and then being hurt in some way that was sometimes a little bit hard to understand why they did it. But that, so that the World Trade Center thing was not, while it was a horrible thing, it was it was, uh, it was something that in a way connected with the other horrors that I've seen in my life. I feel about the future that in the end what we're living through at the present time is kind of strange uh, a mixture and confusion will wear itself out and that people will become much more sensitive and aware than they are now. They, they will have to be because the society becomes more complicated, more full of people and more different kinds of things happening. People will have to become much cleverer and much sharper. And then they will like my music. <laughs>